pick. Super Bowl 37 champion Dwight Smith, who was a part of that team, two pick sixes. We all know what he did against the Raiders. But he joins us here in the Ronnie T. Crash Show as we count down to Super Bowl Sunday. Dwight, Ronnie, and Tom here. How are you? Welcome to the show. All right. Uh, we have to come right than I deserve. There it is. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, you know, we got a great matchup coming up with uh, Super Bowl 55. Obviously, the Buccaneers are playing on their home field. They're not the home team, I guess. I guess you could say they're the home team, but it's supposed to be a neutral field. But just tell me, as a former Buccaneer, how surreal is this for the Bucks to be in the Super Bowl in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium? That's a good question, man. I, I would like to ask some Tampa fans that question because I really don't. I really don't know. Well, I mean, this is something that uh, no one's ever seen before. I mean, you're hosting the Super Bowl. The Bucks are in it. It's Brady versus Mahomes. I mean, that was something I predicted at the beginning of the year. I said if the NFL wanted to have the home team in the Super Bowl, this would be the perfect year. Pandemic, people can't travel. You know, so it's not, it's of, not a shock to me. How big of an advantage do you think it will be for the Buccaneers not having to travel anywhere? Because obviously, you know, when you were in the that's Super Bowl, not, that's not no advantage. They don't have no advantage. No advantage. Okay. No. All right, so that's like saying they have advantage at every home game during the year. So I mean, <laughs> it ain't like they won every home game, so it ain't much of an advantage. Yeah, y'all know all the X's and O's, man. I'm just sitting at home watching. I, I, I don't like to get into that because I don't believe the game is really decided on the field. So you know, I don't get into all the X's and O's and talking, man. I, like I said, I played in the game. I, I set a Super Bowl record and. We knew every play they was running before the game started. So, hey, who am I to say? Well, tell us about that week leading up to right. the Super Bowl because that was the big thing. Bill Callahan was the Raiders coach at the time. Obviously, John Gruden had just come over. Tell us about that week of preparation leading up to the game and how it was executed by you guys. I mean, you know, you could know which Tim plays Brown, are coming. And Tim Brown and Jerry Wright come out and say that they made them run Jerry Wright. I mean, Tom, uh, John Gruden's offense. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. It was his offense, and you guys knew exactly what was coming. Did you know every single play? They didn't run that. They didn't run that. They didn't run that offense all year, though. Ain't it odd that you would run it when you playing against us? So oh. did did you guys knew know every play before the ball was snapped? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It, it, the game ain't decided on the field. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> like I said, I predict who's gonna be in the Super Bowl. It ain't about who has the best players. Football is entertainment. So who, what's the most entertaining Super Bowl? The Bucks in their first one against Patrick Mahomes. Has nothing to do with if these are the best teams because we know that these aren't the best teams. The Bucks are not the best NFC team. So who's the best team in the NFC, in your opinion? Uh, the Green Bay Packers. Okay. But the Bucks beat them at Lambeau, though. I mean, the, the Bucks proved it. They went there. They beat Aaron Rodgers at his place. You can, say, you can say what you want, man. Like I say, the game ain't decided on the field. But the Bucks beat Green Bay like thirty-eight to ten at Raymond James Stadium in the regular season. You're not listening to me, man. You keep saying the. the so, so how is it? How is it decided then? If it's Giants, not on the field, the Giants won the Super Bowl in two thousand and seven. We, I, I had two pick sixes. I mean, two. One I took back ninety-three yards. Another pick up there in New York. We beat them forty-something. We didn't have Adrian Peterson. They went on to win a Super Bowl. Like you, right. you, you but who beat what and how? Like, come on, man. Not that. All right. So how do you see this one playing out on Sunday? It depends on what Vegas, when Vegas make that call. Who they, you know, how Vegas ain't going to lose the most money. So do you think the Bucks' original Super Bowl that you were a part of and won was illegitimate? I think everyone is. If you don't mind me asking then, and we, we obviously appreciate giving us a little bit of time, why do an interview for the Super Bowl if you don't y'all believe that it's set up the right way? Y'all, y'all ask me to. Don't nobody call me no other time until Super Bowl come, right? Yeah, I, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Did, did, any, did anybody when we got on the phone say, "Hey, how's your family doing? How are your kids doing?" No, that none of that matters. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion, and I appreciate that. We do, we yeah. do. I mean, that's uh, that that is our job, though, is to talk sports. I mean, it's it's not personal. So, what is and your it's honest my job to be real? <laughs> oh, no, we understand that. So, what is your honest <laughs> opinion of Tom Brady uh, being in ten Super Bowls? Uh, good luck. A lot of luck, you know. Okay. Because, you know, everybody say Tom Brady, but if I can remember, there's a lot of kickers kicking kicks for him to make it there. Well, Tom Brady did put him in a position to make those kicks. So did kicks. Jim Kelly. So did Jim Kelly, but his kicker missed the kick. He did. He did miss the kick. Right. He did. He did. 
He did miss a kick. Well, he also lost four Super Bowls in a row. But it's Jim Kelly's fault. Or it's, I, or it's not Tom Brady's fault. It's his kicker do. Like, come on, man. <laughs> boy, boy, man. We, so, we, 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 put, we break stuff down like it's so small. Like, this is the only reason that it happened. Like, come on, man. So the reason you guys won the Super Bowl wasn't because of your outstanding defense. It was because that's the way it was predetermined? That's what you're Well, I mean, if our, if our defense was so outstanding, why we couldn't beat the Saints that year? Saints beat us twice. So why did the, the, the Oakland Raiders say, we're going to go in with the Saints game plan? Because they had Deuce McCaffrey, they ran the ball down our throat. Why didn't they come in and say, we're going to do the same thing? All right, D. <laughs> now there's no more on the talk. <laughs> well, we don't know what else to say. Uh, we just caught off guard a little bit. That's a little all. bit, a little bit. To be honest with you. Let's talk about uh, the fact that the Lions made Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders give back money, but they traded Matthew Stafford when he wanted to be. Yeah, well, hey. Barry Sanders <laughs> didn't want to play for John yeah, Ross. Let's, not, that's, let's that's... not talk about the real things, man. Let's just talk about that. I got you, man. I got you. Well, Barry Sanders didn't want to play for Bobby Ross, but that's that's another story for another day. Uh, so Him and Calvin Johnson both asked to be traded. They wanted to go somewhere where they could try to win. They, they made them retire and give some of their money back. All right, so let's, for just a second, I just want to get your thoughts on Patrick Mahomes and what he's done at his young age. It's great, man. I mean, uh, the key for me with most teams is let, let's see how your team performs after your quarterback rookie contract kicks in, after, you know, he's off his rookie contract. So what do you think about Jameis Winston's time in Tampa Bay now that he's in New Orleans? Cause never his... watched, never liked it. Now, back to what I was saying. The, we watched the Seattle Seahawks be good until they paid Russell Wilson. We watched the Packers go to the Super Bowl until they paid Aaron Rodgers. The Eagles would win. The Rams would golf. So, you, you, you know, you got to try to do it while you're on your rookie deal, unless you got Tom Brady as your quarterback. All right, so... <laughs> How do you see this game playing out? I guess it's, uh, you, it's uh, you already told us, right? It's just depending on what Vegas wants it to be, right? Yeah, the New England Rams game 10-3, to man. Who, who thought that was happening? All right, Dwight, man, we appreciate a few minutes.